Hey, this is Tori Walkerson with You Break Chains. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about energy fields. We all have energy fields around our bodies and um, it vibrates, the energy field vibrates uh, and it attracts certain things to us based off what's in our energy field. Um, quite often if we hang around certain people or certain environments, uh, that environment or that person will get absorbed into our energy field. And I kind of wanted to illustrate how that happens. Um, I'm going to use this model, this little character I drew. He's actually a basketball player. But I don't know why, for some reason, I felt like a basketball player would help with this illustration. I don't know, it probably didn't matter. But I just wanted to draw somebody. Um, that can help represent this concept or illustrate this concept. And so I'm going to draw the arms. Usually basketball players have long arms. So a vibrating energy field. We all have a vibrating energy field. Sometimes certain things will happen to us and we won't know why that happened or it seemed to come out of the blue. But quite often, it's because we have certain things in our energy fields that we're not aware of. His ears are too big. I'll erase it later. And I'm going to draw that energy field just so you can visually see an illustration of what an energy field looks like and you have a better idea of how it, it vibrates around you. I. That. Messed up there. Don't be afraid to use your eraser, like I always say. Eraser is very important, just as important as the lead and the pencil, or graphite, I should say. They don't use lead anymore. Well, sometimes they do. It depends on what kind of pencil you have. I digress. Anyway, um, a vibrating energy field. Sometimes if you let certain people into your energy field, that can mess up your energy field and make you feel not so good about yourself or, or just make you feel kind of out of sorts. And I use the word feel because that's an indicator that your energy field is uh, not up to par, I should say, that something's wrong in your energy field. Your emotions will always tell you when something is wrong in your energy field. They're a great indicator, a great signal that something's wrong with the field, with your field. Uh, okay, let's do his legs. I don't want to take too long on this drawing, this model. I'm just trying to illustrate a concept. So this um, this video isn't so much about the drawing, but about the the concept. But I want the drawing to look good too. So I better take my time a little bit. A kneecap, a kneecap. Okay, shorts. Like I said, I'm drawing a basketball player to represent this concept, so I'm gonna draw some shorts. Okay. Oh, what else? Maybe kind of put some shading here to show you, show some muscle definition. Draw a sneaker. Sneakers can be challenging sometimes for me. I don't know why. Sometimes I get them. Sometimes I can't. It depends. Oops. I don't know why I did that. But it works. Shoe strings. Um, yeah. It's that front part of the sneaker where you you know, the toe area where they have that design usually. The back part. It's a name for that. 
can't remember. Um, other sneaker. I'm going to get to the concept in a minute. I'm just trying to get through the drawing. These sneakers look bad. They look really bad. But I'm going to stick with them. I'm going to keep plugging away at trying to figure out if I can make them look better. And if I can't, then that's okay because this video is about the concept, not so much the drawing. Uh, I guess that's good enough, right? Put a little shading on the ground, on the floor. That's another thing. To not have your character floating in space, put shadow on the ground. Okay? And inst instantly, he's anchored to the ground. Okay, this is a little trick you can do to show that he's not floating in space. All right, um, maybe a little shading here. Maybe a shading on the side of his legs. I don't add shading everywhere. Maybe shading here. But in certain areas I do. And it adds a nice, I guess, little effect to the drawing. Makes it look more complete. Okay, remember I always add shadow underneath the chin. Alright, so energy field. Energy field. Let's draw the energy field. And real quick, I just want to talk to you about how the energy field is affected. And what you may be feeling when your energy field is affected. So we all have this energy field around us. It kind of vibrates around us like this. Okay, and it's this line kind of represents that energy field. It vibrates and based off the level of vibration, it attracts certain things into our life, either good or bad, but it's always attracting. It's always attracting something into our lives based off how this energy field vibrates. And the higher the vibration the more quickly something will be attracted into your life based off that vibration, if that makes any sense. So imagine these lines vibrating. And that's your energy field. It's constantly vibrating. Now, when you're in certain environments, you'll attract certain things into your energy field. Sometimes without even realizing it. It's like when you're hanging around somebody and they use a certain word all the time. It's not a word you use, but it's a word they use. And they use it so much that out of the blue, you start using that word. You start saying to yourself, hey, I don't talk that way. Why am I talking like that? It's because you were in that environment. You were around that person so much. You started absorbing their energy. And you started using the same word or, or, or the same, uh, uh, it's the same way of talking about something or, you know, maybe you change your voice in a certain way that that person changes their voice when they're talking about a certain subject. You, you pick up certain mannerisms when you hang around certain people. What's happening is you're absorbing their energy. That can happen in a good way and in a bad way. And when that is in your energy field, sometimes you don't know it's there. But when it's there, it's always attracting something. It's always attracting. And when you're attracting something in a really powerful way, that's because it has emotion attached to it. Emotion. When emotion is attached, to your energy field, you're going to attract something really soon. Really, really soon. That could be something good or something bad. So you have to be very careful of what's going on in your energy field. The more intense the emotion is, the more your energy field is vibrating. The more likely you will attract whatever 
is uh, going on in that energy field when you're in a high emotional state. Okay, so your emotions will always tell you what's going on in your energy field. If you're hanging around certain people or certain environments and it's making you feel not too good, you know, not making you feel depressed or anxious or whatever, that means your energy field is being affected in a negative way. And if you hang in that environment or with that person too much, it's going to uh, attract something into your life that you don't want. But on the flip side, if you're hanging in good environments, if you're hanging around a person who's really influencing you and really helping you to grow and uh, give you insight and you know wisdom, your energy field, you'll feel good emotions because your energy field is being impacted in a good way. And you're going to attract something good into, into your life. And so that's how the energy field works. I just wanted to break that down real quick. Uh, this is a long video. I don't like to take too long making these videos, but I felt like it was a important topic to talk about. Um, we have to be careful of who we let into our lives because they can affect our energy fields in a, in a negative way. Um, but if somebody's going to affect your energy field in a positive way, then you'll feel positive emotions. And that's a person you want to hang around. All right. Um, this is Tori Wilkerson with You Break Chains, and I'm going to make these things known to you. And remember, to have more, you must become more.